Hello, it's Julie Rothall here, uh, live on the Bloom's Art House page, and I thought I would show you some encaustic painting today. Um, I've got my little setup here on the go. Um, got a pot of medium. Let's move that onto the heat correctly, um, and I'm just working on a piece uh, that is going out to America. So. Let me uh, just turn this around quickly, just so you can put a name to the face, a uh, face to the name, sorry, and the voice. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to just, I thought I'd place my camera here and you can watch me doing a little bit of painting. Um, so I was in, and I'll tell you about a little project I've been working on. So I was, I've been working on a project with a group of artists in the States um on a project called transatlantic fusion uh it started at the beginning of last year and basically uh there are a number of encaustic artists in europe that have teamed up with a number of encaustic artists in america and we've been working on a project together um and responding to each other's uh pieces so I've got that packaged up in the other room. Uh, I'll sh share a photograph of it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, and then they it's going to be exhibited at the Encaustic Conference in Provincetown in um, beginning of June. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get out there and visit. Uh, but I'm selling my house, so it depends on the timing. I'm going to just keep painting, just watch as I, as I chat. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I might be able to get out there. But I saw a post that my, my parcel is all ready to go. It's all packaged, otherwise I would show it to you now. Um, but then I saw that they actually do a postcard um, exhibition at the conference each year. And uh, the lady that I was partnered up with is managing the postcard sale. So I'm just going to, hoping I don't rush it too quickly, but I'm going to do a couple of postcards to go into the postcard uh, exhibition. So before I seal the box and send it off. So that's my plan. So um, that's what I thought I would just share with you. So what I've done here is I've just put a first, um, I'm actually just painting on a, uh, what's it called, mount card at the moment. Um, I've gone for a dark one. It just happened to be what I had here in my studio. Um, and I'm just going to, literally start by so this is called encaustic medium um got it heated up on my little hot plate here and i'm going to get a couple of layers of medium down to start with and at each layer as i paint anything on i then have to fuse with my heat gun i've got my hot plate on over here i've just actually got my um colors from when i was doing my self-portrait earlier in the month i still haven't cleaned it off the beauty of encaustic is you just turn the heat off and then you can pick up and start off where you where you you know came from so um yeah i thought i would just do a little bit of live painting on here with you and tell you a little bit about my piece that's going to america um the other thing to share about the american trip is i actually won a scholarship uh to the conference back at the end of 2019 however of course covid hit so i've not been able to to use it yet um but yeah, if I can if I can work it in timing wise this year, that is my plan. So as I say, I'm going to kick off this piece with just a couple of layers of medium. So fuse each stage. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll come back and have a look at the end. I'm actually going to do two at the same time because it's actually quite a bit of waiting around time for this. As it cool, as basically for it to cool. If I go into this too quickly, I'll just end up with a big fingerprint in it. So, um, yeah. And I don't normally work on a dark board, but um, it'll be interesting to see how they come out. I always say the beauty of encaustic is you just keep on working on it until you come up with a finish you like. 
So I'm just working in clear at the moment and then I will begin to add some colours after. So there are any number of ways that you can um, add content to this. And I'm feeling pulled to using some mixed media on this piece. So I've got a really nice stash of, I always save, um, so I've got some sort of papers that, you know, anything from dried flowers to little pieces from magazines, all sorts of um, different ways to add colour. I'm not sure I'm taking this piece as yet. Hmm. This will be, you're going to see my thought process in practice here. <laughs> and I don't like to be too uniform with it as well. I quite like having little snippets and ripped, you know, torn edges rather than yeah, perfect square, for example. Hmm. Oh, not used to working on such a small piece, actually, and uh, it's throwing me. So this is a six by four postcard size. Okay, so I'm going to add this paper on, and there's a real cool way to do this. So I'm actually going to melt it into the wax layers that I put underneath. And it's acting almost like a tissue paper. You can see that. done is it's actually um, yeah absorbed all of that wax into the paper. Some air bubbles under there I'm trying to brush out carefully. And I'm gonna add some more medium on top as well. just start to build the picture together or build it up say so every layer you need to fuse Just adding a bit of colour on here at the moment. Just trying to use up some of the colours that I've left on my hot plate. The encaustic waxes go a really long way. But this style of wax is quite pricey, so I like to try and use up as much. I'm just not to waste it, basically. 
And I often use these as an under, like first layer on my underpaintings. Don't want to stick in that area for some reason. So I can't see, I'm trying to see if anybody's watching. Hey, I think Susie might be watching. Hello, Susie. Is that Susie? I think it is. So Susie is also going, I believe. I'm just doing um, postcards for the postcard competition at the Encaustic Conference got my piece ready to ship from the transcendence tran sorry transatlantic fusion project and um i just saw a night or two ago about the postcard piece and as i'm shipping my piece to stephanie i thought i would have a go at some postcards and i thought i had some in stock but i don't have the right sizes so i figured i would um jump on and uh, start painting something I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I'm thinking on my feet here. <laughs> so. So I've got a, uh, these are some dried leaves that I've collected. I think I've mostly run out of My pressed flowers now. I need to get some more. Oh, yeah, do some more. But um, I love these little stick that on. And I'm gonna sandwich this one on. Might be a bit thick actually. These leaves are. thicker than I would normally work with. But... I'm going to get a good adhesion or not. secure a little bit more medium hole oh, I just missed I'm just going to have a look and see if there's any comments or anything here. Hopefully you can see this okay. So I'm just beginning to... Let's turn this around quickly. So yeah, I'm just beginning to add some layers for a postcard piece that I'm going to send out to the um, Encaustic Conference in Provincetown in the States at the beginning of June. Um, so yeah, I'm just starting layering up some pieces and... Uh, I'm going to add some natural elements. I'm going to add a little bit more. Let me turn this around. I'm going to add some more waxes on in a moment. I'm just waiting for my white to melt. I want some some white on there, um, and I'm just going to keep on keep on layering up. So I'll keep this running for a few minutes. If you have any questions, just pop them in the comments below, um, and I will happily answer them. 
but otherwise I'll just yeah I'll run this for a few minutes and then uh, I won't do the whole the whole piece live on camera um, but yeah ask any questions and I will happily answer um, I love some of the I'll add a bit of silver actually so I'm currently working with this range of waxes which are the RNF range of waxes um, but I do often I'll just literally use the natural elements in my pieces rather than you know than just waxes you could I basically layer in whatever I feel that I'm pulled to to layer um, I might incise back into it I might just keep adding layers on top but I want to show you these as well so these are pan pastels and they work beautifully with um, with encaustic I tend to put them on as the final layer because um, they're so delicate they get they get lost within the wax um, but I'll just show you how they so use different colors with them as well so whilst the wax this the wax really holds its heat particularly as you keep um you know building up it really holds its heat for quite some time but when you kind of get to the the final layers which are not really quite there yet but um i love these they just literally with us take a sponge and you can just highlight areas um they've got a beautiful translucent kind of silverish one which one it is for this one yeah it's got a really lovely shimmer to it mixing colors now because i haven't got the sponge with me different alternative sponge but i don't know if you can see um it gives it a really really lovely shimmer so i do love adding those normally i add them a bit further through the process um but yeah i've just kind of just running with it today and seeing what comes to me. Feeling like it needs a bit of weight that's done yet. So the wax, um, when it's solid, is is like this. So the heat hasn't actually come through. Um, it's, it's nearly melted, but not fully through yet. You can see that it's looking a bit of a gooey mess. So it's it's warming, but it's not quite um, liquefied enough to put on. So I might just scrape a little on this way whilst I'm being impatient. And what I can do is then fuse that. So it's say so each layer needs to be fused together. You really let the this way you can get some really amazing colour blends I'm feeling like it needs some okay. I want to lay these colours around If I'm quick enough, you can watch the as the wax as it cools. If I hold my hand still, if you can you see how the pigments are still moving whilst that wax is molten? It's beautiful to watch. in a minute that will yeah about there now I would say so basically that wax has more or less cooled or solidified enough it's still probably a bit shiny but you can blend colors by hitting it with a heat gun and then moving it around you get these really lovely dreamy dreamy effects so I'm going to keep adding more layers to this piece um, 
as I say, if you do have any questions, do pop them in the comments. I'll happily come and do more of these, but equally I kind of want to share content that uh, that you find interesting. So, uh, as I say, I'm going to keep um, adding some more colours on here, going to keep blending. Um, but yeah, check back in. I will share lots of in-progress photographs as well. And then with the camera, the camera's gone. Um, yeah, and I will share some more images as the uh, as the painting progresses so uh, as i say it's just literally a, a six by four teeny tiny one um piece for the size i normally do um but i'm going to really sort of feel into this one now and decide what i'm going to add next um yeah i'll say i'll share lots of lots of photos okay thanks so much for watching see you soon bye